Hello guys, welcome to the new video of Dr. Fab. In this video, we will learn about some simple steps to save a life at the spa, especially in critical situations such as after accidents. So let's start. So in this video of Dr. Fab, I'm going to talk to you about CPR. It stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation. We use CPR when someone has collapsed and is not breathing because it can keep people alive until emergency services arrive. Learning these simple life-saving skills is as easy as ABC. All you do have to remember is the doctor's ABC. D is for danger. First look around carefully to make sure area is safe for yourself and others. R is for response. Shake them gently by the shoulders and ask them loudly, Hey, are you alright? If there is no response, you need to S. Shout for help, as any assistance will be helpful. A is for airway. Gently tilt the head like this to open up the airway. B is for breathing. Look, listen and feel for the signs of normal breathing. Look for normal chest movements. Listen for normal sounds and try to feel your breath against your face. Do this for no more than 10 seconds. If there is no sign of breathing or person is breathing in a noisy or unusual way, start CPR. First, make sure that an ambulance is on its way. If you have someone else with you, ask them to make the call putting the phone and speak them out. It's useful as the ambulance service can talk you through steps. C is for circulation. Circulation means flow of blood around the body, and when the heart stops pumping, we need to take our distrol by ourselves by pushing down hard and fast on the chest. Start by placing the heel of one hand at the center of the person's chest and interlock your fingers like this. We now straighten, press down hard and fast, letting the chest come back up fully each time. Fast means around two times every second, and hard means chest needs to go down by five centimeters. This might sound a lot, but you do need to push hard for it to be effective. If you have been trained, you can give two rescue breaths after every 30 compressions, as this helps to provide some oxygen. However, if you are not trained or not comfortable, just keep doing with hands only. Continuous chest compressions. If someone else is with you, swap over. If you begin to feel tired and don't stop until either a health professional takes over or a person starts to feel good. Sometimes you can add another step D, D for defibrillation, which is about delivering a shock to restart the heartbeat. Some public areas and workplaces have an easy to use defibrillator on site called an automatic external defibrillator or aid. Automatic means that it's a machine that decides what to do, so you can't go wrong, and even it talks to you through the steps. If no aid available, keep going with CPR until ambulance arrives. That's it. So, for recap, just remember, doctors ABC. And if you have it, D is for danger, R for response, S for shout, A for airway, B for breathing, C for circulation, and D for defibrillation. In this sketch, we have shown you simple steps you can take to help someone who has collapsed or is not breathing or not breathing normally. You can take training course to practice these steps, share this video with friends and family to make sure we all know what to do. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Keep watching Dr. Fab for more amazing videos.